I'm here. Uh, I'm gonna make this quick just because I'm getting my stuff together. Um, I was, uh, I'm actually early, and which is awesome because I was also, I was gonna be late. Um, I'm gonna start over. So we're at the shotgun. <laughs> the Chicago Beast um, against all odds this week uh, and I'm really really excited. Um, I'm probably the least prepared uh, for this that I've uh, probably been since my first Spartan race uh, just because uh, being sick and not having my uh, remember person with me uh, I've forgotten some things some important things but uh, I am making do with what I have, and I'm also trying to minimize my recording time right now just because I only have less than an hour on there. So, uh, doing the beast, I'm about an hour early. I'm excited, nervous. Uh, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Is there anything you remember about Chicago? Oh my god. <laughs> like fucking war flashback. Uh, I, I liked it. I would do it again. Um, I wouldn't drive all the way there and all the way back by myself um, in three days again. It was 13, 13 and a half hour drive. Um, and I drove the day before Friday, got there, went to sleep, woke up, did the race. Went back to the hotel, collapsed, fell asleep, woke up early in the morning, drove back 13 hours. So that wasn't super fun. Um, but uh, the race itself, it was awesome. I loved it. I loved the venue. I loved the course. It had a good mix of like wooded area, mud, sand, you know, hills, descents, rough climbs, things like that. It was okay managed as far as the Spartan. It was the only one that I had to wait in like a 45 minute line just to get registered. So that, I don't know what was going on that day, but yeah, that was the first time that's ever happened. So I got there like an hour before and I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna have time to get my shit set up and go pee. Nope. I was, I, my start time was at 11. I got out of registration line um, at I think like 58. And so I ran, ripped my packet up and got my shit on real quick. And then I had to piss horribly bad. And so uh, I just, they had already started letting the crowd go to start the race. And so I showed them my thing, jumped the wall, ran. And I was the last one over the start line. And so I kind of like petered back a little bit. And after the first bend into the woods, I just kind of went off the trail a bit and took a pee and then started the race. So it's a little bit of an awkward start. Definitely not ideal. I didn't get to stretch. I didn't get to warm up. I didn't get to pee. So I so kind of down, okay, hit the ground running. So <laughs> yeah, that was different, but the whole venue itself was great. I loved the course. It was, it was fast in some places. There weren't really any blocked up 
spots um, like there usually are in, in these. Um, but it was fun. I definitely want to do that one again. It was cool. Yeah. Awesome. Also, I just need to say that literally anytime I'm tired or I think I can't do an obstacle like the Olympus, I stop and I start thinking about uh, a guy, Sister Nino, and how he says, if you want something, stop talking about it and be about it. Get the fuck up and take what you want and never tell yourself that you can't have something. Because everybody in the world can tell you you can't do something. And you can say, fuck them. But if you tell yourself you can't do it, then you're a fucking punk. Because you're underestimating yourself. And that's what I did. So I'm extremely happy I did it. I'm sad Karen's not here. But I'm also mad that I underestimated myself. So from this point going forward, I'm not, I'm not counting myself out of shit. So I'm going to get back to running. Sir. So, uh, I finished in a record time. I haven't gone over to find the kiosk to see exactly what it was, but it was about five hours. I think it was about five to five twenty, which was like the high end of what I thought I was gonna do. And it definitely didn't feel like that. I definitely felt like I was dragging ass, but. I was pushing myself. I gave everything I had by the end of it. Like, I was just destroyed. And I'm glad I kept pushing. And I'm really happy that I didn't just stop. It really sucks that Karen's not here, but it'll be alright. Yeah, I'm just exhausted at this point. So, I'm gonna try to figure out where that kiosk sat and I'll probably go and take an ice bath. I think that, honestly, I, I, I'm just surprised at my time because I, I checked it and it was about. It was under 510 which is it, it's it's mind-blowing like I got to the um, there's three obstacles left there was spear throw which I shit the bet on that's pretty normal um, so I was doing burpees for that um, after the Herc hoist and I was doing my burpees and I look over to the fire and I looked at the clock and it said three and I very slowly in my head did the mental math and it just dawned on me that I'm in the five hour range, which it is fucking incredible. Like I had no idea that I was 
making that time or making that pace because I didn't have my watch. Like, like I said, I didn't have my remember person, my wa my wife. So it feels amazing to have these three. This was my goal last year was to get these three medals. And now I want three pairs of them. So I still got two more beasts, one more super, and I'll have them. But I'm so happy to have this first one. And I'm gonna be getting my second one along with a really cool two times trifecta medal um, at Dallas, which I'm excited about. And I even went over to the trifecta tent and asked the lady if all my braces are registered if they counted properly because sometimes I've, I've heard um, that can happen I was very worried about that um, so this one's registered it's good everything's fine all my other races are registered they're good so I'll be picking up another beast medal and I'll be picking up another first of all shirt because I love the shirts uh, and uh, the trifecta finisher medal which I'm excited about because I don't have any of those because you have to at least finish two to get one and then I'll be finishing off my trifecta in December with Karen with my last beast. Um, and I'll be getting a three times trifecta medal there. Didn't have any pickle juice, don't have any in the hotel. So I'm gonna have to buy pickle juice, I'm gonna have to buy ice because I'm gonna take an ice bath with pickle juice. I'm just gonna fucking sit there with a jar of pickles, drinking that along with probably a Powerade Zero in an ice bath and watch The Office.